Coach Bunch for your humble watches. That's a bomb. And you're watching Top Notch Lawn Care. Hi right, guys, what's going on? It is Monday morning here. It's about 6.30 in the morning, getting a head start on the day. And uh, what I'm doing right now is I'm just loading up the trailer, like I talked about in the last video, getting everything dumped all in one load. So that's what we're doing. This is uh, this was two cleanups right here and some office trash or some shop trash. All right guys, so I got my schedule made out for the day. We're, we're gonna mow about 25 houses today and I have one bid to give also. 25 is gonna be a little bit challenging. I think we can definitely get it done with me, Jesse, and Albero. And one thing I'm doing uh, right now is I'm trying to, trying to gauge our time. So when we go out and mow, we're gonna write down our start time, our end time, and kinda, kinda gauge it off of that because the way I have the schedule planned out right now is we're gonna have one day a week to where we're gonna mow a lot of houses in one day. A couple of the big properties that have just a lot of houses on them. Uh, I think it's somewhere around 50 houses. And then after that, we're gonna split up into two two-man crews. I do plan on hiring another person uh, that way we, we can do that and we can tackle the big properties with four people. And then after that, like I said, the smaller stuff, we're just gonna, you know, two man over here, two man over here, single houses, smaller commercial stuff, things like that. So we, uh, we should be a little bit more efficient that way uh, than we were last year. So in this neighborhood, we basically we have three singles, and kind of what we do is kind of too much for, for not enough. For many people. So we usually just have like one person, like Alberto's over there, just kind of uh, head on over there while we're finishing up over here. Same thing we did on this one here is uh, we had Jesse just hop on over here and start on the backyard since it was pretty big, and uh, while me and Alberto was finishing up on the other one. So uh, that's just kind of what we do to kind of. You know, keep people from standing around. Just kind of drive the mower over there if it's not too far and just keep on working. All right, so we just got done with the last one. Uh, Jesse and Albero, they're uh, finishing up blowing it off. Uh, you know, I've been having to check my phone a lot today. At one point, uh, we mowed one of the big properties. There's like 17 houses on there and uh, took about two hours. And we get done with that. And I look down, I have six missed calls. So my phone is ringing right up. I mean, it's it's kind of crazy jesse actually called it because he says as soon as this weather starts you know 80 degrees they're going to start calling and and by god they're calling so anyway i actually i told jesse and i was kind of joking but it's actually kind of serious to where i told him i said if if this keeps up i'm not gonna be able to mow because i gotta start answering these phones i gotta start answering these calls and uh you know doing all that and if i do that i ain't gonna get no mowing done so uh you know that's a that's a nice problem to have obviously but um it's a little bit you know kind of frustrating because i don't know exactly what to do so but it's all good we're going to figure it out we're definitely going to figure it out so like i said this is the last property of the day um we actually we got kind of a late start because i went to the dump and uh, we went and mowed a, a new one uh by the shop it was pretty overgrown uh it took a little bit longer than i thought but we didn't actually start mowing what we planned on mowing today till 10 o'clock. It is 2.30 right now, actually 
and we mowed every bit of 25 properties. I'll have to count them up, but we were, you know, we, we were doing pretty good. Um, it's, it's always nice, and you can tell the people that have worked lawn care before, like Albero, like Jesse, and, you know, obviously we've worked together before, but like me and Albero, we haven't done this kind of stuff in over, you know, a year and a half. I don't know how long, but, but it's just nice to where you don't have to say, you know, hey, you go this way, I go this way, or you do this, I do this. You just know, you know, when you get done mowing and the guy is already trimming and he started at one end, well, you start at the other end. You know, that's just that's just the way it goes, you know. But I've worked with guys before just uh, with less experience to where, you know, they end up kind of going the same way and you're just, you're, you're, you're wasting your time. You're not getting nothing done. So it's really nice working with people that know what's going on and people that have actually worked with you before know kind of what you're going to do, kind of know your routine, know your rhythm. And, uh, you know, that's how we're able to get, get stuff done so fast. And we haven't really been like busting our butt or anything. We've just been working. We've just been working. So um, I'm, I'm very, very excited about this year. And I, I hope this continues. And I have no, no reason to believe it won't. Tomorrow we're going to hit the, the biggest one I have. There's 35 properties in there. And uh, we're going to hit that one. And uh, we're, we're going to definitely, definitely get it done in one day. But uh, we're going we're gonna to do things a little bit different than I've done in the past. Um, the way I've done it in the past just uh, just didn't work very well, and I'm not even sure why I didn't make the change before, but uh, we're just going to bring more mowers. We're all going to mow, get that done. We're all going to trim. We're all going to uh, edge, and that way, you know, because what happens, you know, there's about four hours worth of trimming there. You send a guy off of trimming while the other two guys are mowing or whatever, you know, he gets tired. I mean, I don't blame him. I mean, I've done it before and you start to wear down. Next thing you know, that four hours turns into six and you know, you're just, you're just there a lot longer. So we're gonna try this new routine tomorrow, see how it works. And uh, hopefully we can get done a little bit quicker than what we have in the past. Alright guys, so we're back here at the shop. As you can hear, the compressor's running. Albero's down there uh, sharpening some blades. Let's take a look at Albero. <laughs> Albero's just a cool cat, man. Uh, we, got, we got done a little early. We had about an hour to spare. Uh, I gave him the option he can stay and kind of work on some mowers, get some blades sharpened up and kind of clean up the shop a little bit or he can go home and he wanted to stay and get his full aid in. So I, I like that. Um, but uh, I'm just here in the office uh, putting in, uh, you know, some paperwork, getting some stuff done here. And uh, we're going to head home here in about 30 minutes, about four o'clock. So. That's going to kind of be our work schedule, 8 to 4 for a little while, and uh, we're going to see if we can't make it, make that work. And, you know, I don't, I don't want to work too many long days. I just want to, I want to have a set schedule. I want to work 8 hours, and I want to go home. So um, that's what we're going to try to do this year. Today was just a great day. We got outside. It was nice. It was like 81 degrees. Uh, worked up a good sweat. Uh, kind of kind of got the muscles flowing again. We got a good day of mowing in. We got a lot done. We got everything done we were supposed to get done. So I'm very excited about that. Um, tomorrow's another big day. Wednesday, we got another big day of mowing. And Thursday and Friday, we'll see. Uh, I gotta go check some properties and see if they need mowed. I think they do. If so, we're gonna be mowing Thursday and Friday. So a lot of mowing this week, a lot of mowing. So like always guys, be happy, be humble, stay hungry, see you guys tomorrow.